Welcome to Tech Brothers with In this video, we are going to talk about Union Operator in Kusto and how it works. Um, there are little changes or uh, there are small uh, differences of, um, of a Union Operator in Kusto as compared to the SQL uh, where you have uh, less or more columns. Uh, so I'm going to walk you through those uh, different scenarios and see how it will work here in Kusto. Let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, first of all, what we have here, I have multiple tables. Uh, so it is a it uh, right now i have total sale that's one of the table that has uh, 13 records uh, so you can see right here there is a sale person first name last name product name item sold and the city state country and region um, now then i have a uh, asia table so if i select this uh, part of this uh, query this is going to return me only asia records uh, so you see that there are five uh, records for region uh, asia and uh, the table name is a total uh, sale Asia. Now there is another table I have is called the total sale Europe, and uh, that has few records as well. So let me show you those. It has uh, uh, also four records, but there are less uh, columns. Uh, if you notice here, I do not have city, state, uh, and country here. I have only region in this uh, uh, table, and uh, the rest of the columns are matching. Now let's see if we want to. Uh, have a, a union and we want to get all the records from total sale and the total sale Asia so we'll be able to use a union here so you will say total sale then you see, use the uh, pipe sign union and second table name as uh, the number of columns are matching it's going get, to get us all those columns right here and data for every column now you can see right there uh, we are getting 18 record so 13 records coming from uh, total sale and uh, there are five records coming from total sale Asia we really don't have a way to tell like uh, which uh, data is coming from which table here but this is a union uh, between two tables so it's getting all the records from uh, both tables uh, now we can add uh, the table name so how we do that uh, we say union kind we can use the uh, outer or uh, um, we don't have to actually use a uh, kind outer or inner but uh, I'm going to show you why we use it here. So we can use a kind outer with the uh, source equal to the table name. If we use this one, what's going to happen? It's going to show us uh, the table. Then you can list uh, the table names for, for that you would like to union. So here I'm uh, union uh, total sale Asia, total sale Europe, and uh, total sale. So what this uh, operator does, the kind is equal to outer. So this result uh, has all the columns that occur in any of the input uh, uh, cells that uh, are not, uh, were not uh, defined uh, in uh, any input row are set to null. So think about that uh, as I told you, like uh, uh, total sale Europe does not have few of the columns. Uh, so it's, uh, what's going to happen is going to show us all the columns from other tables uh, and wherever uh, that columns are not existing, uh, they will be set to null. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, run this query. And then now you will see uh, here as we use this with source table name, it is a get, getting us the table name. So you can see that uh, these records are coming from total sale table and these are 13 records. Now these records are coming from Asia and Asia has the exact the same uh, number of four columns. And for Europe, if you guys remember that we don't have uh, uh, city, state and countries, that's why it is shown as uh, null values in those columns. So if you use this uh, kind of outer, you will get all the columns from different tables uh, and uh, wherever the values are present. Uh, so you're going to get matching columns and wherever the value coming from uh, different columns, uh, tables is going to show you. If there is a column that's not existing in uh, some of them, then it's going to show you for only the values for that column uh, and null values for other table values. Uh, now here, if you use inner, kind equal to inner, then it's going to show you the all the matching columns from uh, those uh, tables uh. so see here we have total sale asia total sale europe and total sale uh, uh, table um, now total sale europe uh, uh, does not have city state and country now if i use inner here it's gonna exclude these column and only give us uh, the columns which matches uh, across three tables uh. so you see that uh, we have id we have sale person first name last name product name item sold item uh, price uh, sold price and region uh, as a uh, total sale europe does not have city state and uh, country that's why uh, it ignored that column so it is uh, giving us all the matching columns from these three 
tables. Um, so that because we said that in a row, so get me all the matching columns from all these tables and the union the data from these uh, tables. Uh, and as we use a uh, table source is equal to table name, that's why we are getting uh, the table name here. Uh, so see right there, these are all the records coming up. Now, if we want to do something more union tables with different list of the columns, uh, so we can do that as well. So, so let's say we have total sale. So if I do run total sales, I have 13 records with these columns, then I can do total sale Asia. That's exactly same number of columns that total sale has. But customer, if I just let me copy customer and run the query, it has only two columns and they're totally different. So I can union all of them together. If you go ahead and say run, you see there the customer table data is right here. So these columns are just coming from customer ID and name here, but there is no data for total sale and total sale Asia. So these all the values are showing here. We have a null here because this table does not have these columns. So the values for this customer is coming null for these column. And then our two tables has these columns, which data is right here. So you can see right there. Okay, so you can see uh, it's not like SQL. If uh, uh, you have uh, you have to have, have exact uh, same data type of columns, uh, so you can union pretty much everything. So if there would be any matching columns, then you will have the data in this. You have the same column name, but uh, if uh, there would be uh, these columns are not matching with other columns, they will be still there. So you're getting the data for all from all the table, no matter what. So here it is getting your data from a customer. These column does not uh, match with these columns. So and uh, these two tables also have this data. So you're going to get pretty much this. So you got the idea. Here you can also do the union different result set, uh, such as if I'm getting the data from total sale, where region is equal to Asia. If I run this query, What's going to happen is going to get me all the records where region is Asia. And then I can go ahead and union with the total sale Asia, with the total sale Europe, or any other tables. So let's go ahead and do it. If I run together, so it's going to union this result set of filtered values with this table and this table results. So you see right now, so that's what we are getting right there. So now, if you are interested uh, to see union multiple tables with specified string type, well, let's say if I want to union all the total sale tables, such as I, I have total sale Europe, I have total sale Asia, and uh, total sale, uh, yeah, that, that's pretty much I have. So it is going to union all the tables of which start with the total sale. And rest of that I put call, uh, asterisk here, so it can be Asia, Europe, or anything. And then what I'm saying, where asterisk that means any column um, of these tables have value armor so you can do something like that as well so see right there it is getting me all the values and it is getting me three of them so i don't know which table it is coming from so we can use this with source table name and uh so with source and then we put the table name here that's going to give us a table name and uh, add this uh, clause to it and let's run that again that's going to get uh, as table name as well so now you see that source table so it is coming from total sale the two values and then uh, one armor is coming from a total sale europe so you can see right there so if you have multiple table that's starting with some same name or pattern you can uh, uh, tell uh, uh, you know starting from this uh, uh, and then put an asterisk that means include all the tables that start with this keyword and also put the where condition and say uh, you want to search for something special in all the all the columns in all the tables so here any value i'm searching for armor now if you would like to add a name to the output query that's possible as i said that you will say uh, with source and that's uh, you're gonna just simple we already have used it on top of it so if you use it then it will tell you the which table to use it so see right there total sale uh, also, we have here a uh, union with the source table and then I uh, just define something like that. It's going to add a table name and then uh, you can have multiple uh, uh, sets here. So in this case, I'm getting all the records from total sale where I'm only getting a column first, sale person first name, last name. And uh, let's say if I want to get region as well, though, so I can do that. So this result set uh, is returning me some columns and then uh, I'm going to go to sale. 
uh, total sale Asia and getting few results uh, and uh, right there only looking for these columns so let me run this and show you actually so if I execute this it's gonna return me sale person first name sale person last name and region and then uh, in Asia it's going to return me only two columns because I use project and that I'm telling is only show me these two columns from this table same way I have sale person uh, first name last name from uh, Europe um, so if I execute this alone it's gonna return me the data from sale person Europe total sorry total sale Europe and uh, these two columns now these all uh, can be put together and union so starting with the union then you're gonna say with uh, with source equal to source table and then uh, all the result set each result set will be separated by comma so now I can combine them together and get this uh, union for these result sets so you see right there it is a uh, uh, union underscore org zero union underscore so that's the first values come in and then uh, from the total sale and then uh, what we have there we have a uh, union org that's coming from your uh, second and uh, as I did not add Europe uh, region here so this is the only one that has a region uh, the other column are just gonna show null uh, so this is coming from your last result set uh, so this is how if I let's say I want to just add sold price right there okay so we can do that as well I did not uh, uh, Sold price, and now we can execute as well. So you see that uh, union org zero that's the comment from uh, for the first result set uh, for this one, and it has a region. Uh, now, as I say, I add the sold uh, price here, but uh, the first uh, result set doesn't have any sold price, so it's not showing you anything. But a column has been added, and then uh, the org zero that has the sold price. Uh, this is coming from this result set. Uh, where we're getting the data from total sale Asia and uh, there is the sold price for this available so and uh, there, as we are even not selecting any column sold price uh, so you see that it is just showing us two columns and null values for other one so it's going to union all that now that's uh, kind of uh, good but uh, what happened here uh, uh, you you can also name them uh, and I will show you in the next uh, video uh, um, queries how to do that uh, because the union org 023 is not really a good name now what we can do also we can implement filter on top of this result set uh, let's say we union all that and then now uh, what uh, we want to do so we have all these results here and that's a union of uh, from these result set uh, then we can use where clause after that and say sale person first name is equal to Amir so if I do that it's gonna union all the results uh, get me the data then filter for just uh, for Amir so you can see right there also let's say if I want to use a count or some other functions uh, on this one I can do that as well so here let's say if I remove one second right there so now if I want to uh, union all these uh, different result sets and then I want to take account of that that I can do that as well so that's uh, gonna show me this uh, so now as I was saying that uh, it was uh, you notice that uh, it was just uh, saying uh, union uh, that result set underscore org zero two and the one so we would like to add the name so that's possible as well so what you will do in this case you will kind of kind of create a view so you will say let this is your view name total sale derived view and then uh, uh, you have a uh, this curly parenthesis starting and here is your result set so you created this view for a let's say sale person total sale you know then you did the for Asia you know and uh, I can add a region here as well so you will see and we can add a region here for Europe as well but uh, I'm not going to add a region for total sale because uh, that uh, this data is coming from all different regions. Okay, so I created these views here, and uh, each view has its own definition. Or uh, this is the result set it is going to return. You can see right there. This is coming from uh, say total sale Asia, and this will be coming from uh, total sale Europe. Now I can uh, simply join once I have the views are ready. I will say union with source equal to the table name whatever the name of the column I would like to and then uh, I will uh, just use the, the views here instead of the tables uh. so you can use uh, just use those views what we just created right there okay and uh, run them together 
and it's going to get you the result set that's a union of all these views so see right there that's the first we have salesperson first name salesperson last name these are the only two columns we selected from total sales so you can see right there that's the table name so you can see that was your uh, table name right now for the second one total sale asia so we have uh, this uh, salesperson first name so it union them uh, and also there was a region available uh, for this uh, uh, salesperson asia so it added that um, and same thing goes for uh, europe uh, because i added a region there uh, so that's how you will use the union and see it is a little different from uh, what you have in uh, microsoft sql server or oracle because uh, if the column uh, here uh, let's say in the first result set uh, we don't have column region at all here we don't have region so it will throw you error in a sql server because the number of columns are not matching with the second result set but then you in those cases uh, you always uh, do you have to put some space here and say uh, as region or something like that but here it will take care of it automatically so thank you very much and i would uh, i will do i will put this uh, code in the description so you can use it and test it um, go ahead and subscribe my channel if you like my videos and i will see you guys in the next video